this is Charlie from Avengers with Charlie and today I'm going to give you my review on Avengers Endgame. Taken for the spot I've years after Thanos' snap, uh, Ant-Man might have found a way a, how, how he and the event Avengers can f and defeat him. Um, to, you see, he knows us those quantum physics and physics. And they decide to go go back in top onto events that that have hap happened before in the end to you you in order to stop that Thanos. But only this time it's a different Thanos they have to face. So oh when when this film came out, everyone was praising this. It's with, with all the praise they could give it. There was a lot of good things going on about this film. So, um, no one was being too negative. But then, let's not forget I still have to share my opinion. And it is awesome! I've, I best start off of talking about the characters and don't worry I won't go into any spoilers well at least I'll try not to Start, starting with Tony Stark of course himself oh, he, at first as he become, <coughs> becomes one heartfelt character at the beginning where where he kept as as for his new new family he started to raise with a new daughter and and not and he he really wants everything to turn out right in order to the, for him to stop Thanos. The rest of the heroes heroes do offer a big point. Like I said <laughs> Set said at the beginning, Scott, aka Ant Man, and has found found a way to say save the world and bring everyone back. And Captain America and Thor or tried to be strong enough, not for Tony. Well, all the heroes. Do. Hulk goes best to try to master top, top, the time travel they want to try. I, I out. I out. And Nebula tries to stop up the dark evil in her. And then there's Thanos himself. If people loved, loved him in Infinity War, they will love this villain again and in this movie. He does he hasn't changed from an amazing villain. There is so much to admire about Thanos. <coughs> Not in this. It's, he he is very <laughs> being really like but but we don't get to see this new Thanos of him much. But he is a really great villain for whenever we do see him. Okay. And and then there's the story. It would be complicated to do a story after the, the snap, but but they actually managed to do something really well with it. If what the film tries to do with the with this story is got oh in a way that is very engaging Jim action pack but it doesn't offer off a lot of engaging action it also offers a lot of emotion in a superhero movie like this it would it wouldn't work. But however, it actually
actually does in this. The heart and emotion that are the highlights of it in the action. Since, it's, since all of it has to build up to the big, big, big fight against Thanos at the end. There is a lot of heart put into it. it. And there is a lot of action and lots of action. And, all the, and the action is good. But I think my favourite action scene, the final battle. I was just left on the edge of my bed. It was... At engaging, I couldn't take my eyes off the screen. It was so exhilarating, to an amazing scene. All, all of fan on this army come together to fight the hero. It was amazing. Thing. And then there are the visuals themselves. How do the visuals do in this film? really well in my opinion again they are very they make this the film very beautiful awesome to look out in, in my opinion again it's very love lovely and there are lots of sets acts that are very gorgeous just in my opinion some of the scene places they go to to uh, you might not have many colours, but I don't think. But I think it's just a bit with the tone. I love this film. Like I, because this is a good movie. So, so overall, it's no wonder why this one, one was one of the biggest movies of all time, time as well as the year. Avengers Endgame is an awesome movie. Where it takes a simple concept and take and finishes it off what Avengers Infinity War started with a fantastic and engaging story, highly creative visuals and very memorable characters. I would really recommend this to any fan of the the Avengers franchise because they will really enjoy this. However, I'd also recommend you watch some of the recent MCU films to understand what is happening in the film. As for the rating, in this movie, Thanos might be inedible, but this movie is incredible. And that's why I'm going to give it a rating of a 10 out of 10. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment, like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!